Hello everyone! Today I'll be going over the basics of shipping within Shipping Easy. Shipping Easy is constantly improving how customers ship, and this updated video will show you all the new and improved ways to purchase labels within Shipping Easy. So let's get started. We start on the orders page, where orders come in from all our connected stores. We'll begin with the easiest way to ship inside Shipping Easy Instant Rate. You can see a whole video on Instant Rate by going to the link on your screen, but I'll cover the basics here. If an order enters the system with a valid address and weight, Shipping Easy will automatically recommend the appropriate USPS service based on the weight of the package. For domestic orders, if the weight is under a pound, first class is chosen. If it's over a pound, priority mail is chosen. International orders work on the same principle, but have different thresholds for each service. Where anything under four pounds goes first class international, and anything over four pounds goes priority international. No rate will be suggested if there is no weight or the destination address is invalid. If any of these issues exist, you can correct them by clicking on the yellow Fix button immediately to the left of the order. If you want to choose a different service, such as a flat rate option, you can click the down arrow to the right of the shipping selection column. This brings up the configurations for carrier, carrier service, and packaging, which we call saved selections. Think of these as saved presets for shipping. We automatically include the six most common USPS service and packaging selections to make using Instant Rate quick and easy. Mine has a couple more because I've saved them. I'll show you later in the video how to add more options to this list. In addition to recommendations by Instant Rate, Shipping Easy can also assign the carrier service and packaging based on either shipping rules or what we call previous selection. Previous selection means that an order has pulled through in the past and Shipping Easy remembered how you ship this identical order. To learn more about shipping rules, check out the advanced shipping section in our guide at shippingeasy.com rules or click guides in the top right of the app. If you have multiple orders with assigned rates through instant rate, previous selection, or shipping rules, you can select them all. Most easily accomplished by turning on the rate quote filter to with a rate quote and checking the select all box. The buy label button will show you the total price for all selected labels. Just click it and you'll get a confirmation window outlining what you are about to purchase and for how much, with the option to print packing slips as well. When you're ready to purchase, click Buy. You will see a progress bar as your labels are purchased. Just click Done when it's done. All your labels are then purchased and sent to the Ready to Print page, or if you have Connect Easy set up, directly to the configured printers. Check out the basic shipping section of the guides for information on setting up Connect Easy. Now for the majority of businesses using the app, this is the easiest, fastest, and most convenient way to ship. However, there are some exceptions to the process that would necessitate shipping from the Ready to Ship page. An example of this would be if you utilize barcode scanning to generate and print your labels. Moving your orders there is very easy. Just select the order and hit Create Shipments. You can select multiple orders to move at the same time, but if you have orders that are going out using the same carrier service and packaging, you can group them together into a batch as you move them to the Ready to Ship page by selecting all similar orders and clicking the Group as Batch button instead of Create Shipments. Once you're done moving everything, hover over Shipments on the blue bar at the top and select Ready to Ship. On the Ready to Ship page, you see the orders you've moved over on the left side here. You see my batch has been tied together. Let's do the individual order first. I click the order, then I adjust the drop downs here to reflect my choice of carrier, carrier service, and packaging. If this is a commonly used configuration, check this box in the bottom right that says Save Selections, and give it a name that reflects what you have selected here. Then you'll be able to use this configuration to ship from the previous page as it will appear in your drop down of choices. You can manage which selections appear in that drop down by clicking Settings in the top right and selecting Saved Selections on the right side under Shipment Settings. Right below, you can adjust the weight of the order if necessary. Over on the right side, you have the option to post date the label up to a week if necessary. This is commonly used if you create a label outside the time it can be dropped off or picked up by your carrier for that day. If you need to confirm delivery, you can select that option from this drop down right below, and below that, you can purchase insurance from our insurance provider, Shipsurance. And finally, you have the scan-based return label option right below that. 
Scan-based return labels are return labels you do not pay for unless they're used, and they're not very common. This option must be enabled by the Shipping Easy customer success team. Please contact us if you'd like to enable this option. If you're on a paid subscription plan, you can find the different ways to contact us in the top left of your screen. Once you have all the options filled out correctly, go up to the print buttons at the top of the page. To purchase this label immediately, you will use one of these buttons under Pay and Print. Print Now is not active because I have not yet set up Connect Easy. Once it's done, you can click Print Now and the label will be purchased and sent directly to the printer. Otherwise, without Connect Easy, click Print Later to purchase the label and send it to the Ready to Print queue, which we will do now. Next, let's look at the batch. If I click on an individual order within the batch, I can edit the weight or address for that order, which is useful if your batch contains orders with different weights. But in order to set carrier, service, and packaging, I would need to click on the name of the batch and use the drop-downs here to change my selections for those options. On a batch, the selections I make here will apply to all orders within the batch, so keep that in mind when creating batches. Everything else works the same as an individual shipment, but let's purchase this batch with the Print Later button and go look at the Ready to Print page. Hover over Shipments on the blue bar at the top and select Ready to Print. On this page, you can print individual labels by clicking the green Print button individually, but I recommend using the Print All button. When you click it, you see your options. If you want labels, packing slips, both, or a pick list. I want both labels and packing slips, so I'll make that selection. It will tie up the labels into one file, create the packing slips, and move them to the right side of the page here. At this point, clicking the print button opens up the PDF containing the documents, at which point you print the PDF like you would print any other document, Control p or the print icon in the top right. Keep in mind setting up Connect Easy and using Print Now makes this whole section unnecessary, so be sure to check out how to do that at shippingeasy.com guide. The guide is a great place to start when looking for information on this or any other topic having to do with Shipping Easy. You can access it at any time by clicking Guides at the top of your page. Thanks for watching, everyone.